Hello everyone. So today we'll have a look to uh, the queues. So a queue is a data structure which is um, useful and simple. So it has a certain way to store objects and retrieve them. So it follows the FIFO principle. So first in, first out. So essentially the first object getting in your queue will be the first object to get out of your queue. So you can see it as a ticket system at a till, for instance. So let's see how to implement it in Go. Okay, so let's create a um, module. We're going to call it Q. We will have a main application, then a sub module just gonna call it Q okay there was a typo mistake on main so we have main on left and Q on the right okay let's create a struct called Q and this struct will have one field called content which is an array of int and let's just create a displayer for that queue so then we can see the content of that queue at any time so just gonna call it display and essentially it will log the content of the, the queue okay so we can try that out on your main application so the package is Q so we have a Q an empty Q and we can just invoke display on it okay so you can see that it has an empty array for now okay so then we have uh, on the queue how to store an item so usually this kind of accessibility is called push so simply it's going to be appending your new element x to that queue so in go it's very simple as you know we're just gonna invoke up append on the queue content we can try it out so if i push to the queue 42 and then we can display it we should see 42 now in the queue so quite straightforward in Go and we can add other items for instance to just um, sanity check so you can see I push 42 12 42 so then you can see in the log that those items are now in our queue okay so now how do we dequeue um, an item how do I pop an item so so as I said at the beginning of the video it's first in first out so the first item to be which got into the queue was um, our first um, item in this uh, slice so then we just um, get it by accessing index 0 because index is start at zero in go line and then the queue content we need to remove that item so we're just gonna use our range so starting from one until the end of the length of the queue and then we return the item so you can see it in action on the left so we're just gonna invoke queue.pop to pop the first item there you go so 42 got out and then your new content is 1222 so you can um, empty the queue three times by popping each item so you can see we're gonna pop in 42 12 22 and then the content is empty there so very straightforward very useful pattern very powerful and quite simple to implementing Go.
The trickiest part is line 19, where you need to get that bit um, correctly. Also, another um, pitfall is line 18, where we are querying index 0. So that's a problem if the queue content slice is empty. So you would panic because the index doesn't exist. So you could cater for that in Go by just um, changing slightly the pop function with returning an int and an error. So if the queue is empty, you would return an error. So that's an enhancement for later, if you want. All right, I hope you enjoyed that short video about that useful data structure. So if you enjoyed, like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you want more of those and happy coding.